known as one of the most popular piers in the Pensacola Beach area. This pier stretches 200 feet into the water in Pensacola Pass, which is a fish haven for multiple species of fish in the Pensacola area, such as mangrove snapper, red snapper, mangrove snapper, Spanish mackerel, sometimes king mackerel, lots of sharks, and there's been even a glide off this pier. So let's get our bait and let's try to catch some fish. Our target species today is a mangrove snapper. I've got word that mangrove snapper have been here in big numbers, so let's try to catch some for catch and cook. Let's go. So we had to start off the morning by catching some live bait. So I took my cast net and looked off the pier and saw some LY swimming. If you don't know what LYs are, they're just a tiny little oh, yeah. white I bait that you see swimming around the beaches and piers around here around the summertime. They make great bait for mangrove snapper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the rig we are using today is a size six octopus J hook with a attached into 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, about two feet with a three quarter egg weight, pretty much a Carolina rig. I like to go lighter, but the current and wind was ripping today. So we had to go a little heavier on the weight to get the bait down. So the way I like to hook these LYs is I like to take the live one and I like to hook them right through the throat. That way they like to swim lively and they like to swim up too as well. There we go. There we go, fish on. Yep, that's a nice one. Gary got one. He's definitely legal. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. First fish of the day. Let's see what he measures real quick. Just to be sure. Nope. They gotta be 10 to keep here in Florida. Put on ice, pop his gills. Might do a catch of cooking. I'm bleed him out. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. Yes, I am. My bad. Just sit right there. That's the wind. I blame it. This guy's definitely too small. Fish on guys, fish on. That's a nice one. Get him out of that pylon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice one. Let's go. Oh, number two mangrove. Number two, number two, number two, number two, number two. About 12 inches. Let's go. Eating good today. Get him on ice. Whatever. That's a good one. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh God. Let's go. But uh, I, he, I gave him a sticker and he put it on the back of the FWC guy because he stopped us and checked the kayaks after we came back from offshore. Oh, he stopped you guys? Yeah. He's wanted to check everything. Yeah, he's 11, 11 inches. Get it, baby. There you go, fish on, guys. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fish number, mangrove number four. After I catch my limit, I'll be more than happy to. All right, guys. Oh, he just came off the hook. This is fish number four for me. I think I got one left before I get my limit. He measures 12 inches on the dot. Yeah, I need one more for mine. I'm going to get more. Oh, man. 
Come on, Carrie, be man. I tell you what, if, if you catch one next drop, I will buy you lunch when we leave. On my next drop? Yep. Your bait's gone. What about this drop? Get him. And come on, get him up, 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 get him up. Get him up. Come on, you doing good. You got him. You got him. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, man. Oh, flip him. I don't know. Let him get him that. Oh, sweet. Very, very nice, Carrie. Heck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's a. That's a. That's a good one. That's 15, 16. All day. Very nice, sir. That'll do. I guess I'm buying new lunch, right? <laughs> yeah, hold him up for the camera. Look at that thing. That's, that's a freaking tank for the pier. Look at that. This is what we're after. All right, let's uh, put him in the box. Uh, oh, it's right there in the corner. Yeah. That, was a, that was a good one, buddy. Way to make me eat my words. That's well, me I'm, I'm measure. He's probably 15, 16. Is that your biggest mangrove? Uh, yeah, I think so. Pitch tail? 15 and a half? Let's go, man. Good job, yeah. buddy. Here, let me pop his gills for you. Since good shot, guys. That's a good one. There we go. There we go. Best one of the day right here. Nah, he's all right. There it is. There's mine. Whoa! No, this is on shrimp. This is Dexter Frisky. All right, guys, got my fifth one of the trip. This is the limit. How many more you need? Four. Oh, real? That's cute. Go. Hey, I got some right here. Yeah, frisky. Let us hear some of his. Let's measure this guy. Let's see what he measures. He is 12 and a half. He ain't that big. I mean, he's good. All right, guys, we're back in the kitchen. We just got done cleaning this fish from a good morning catch of mangrove. Here's some fresh fillets. We're gonna make a nice, healthy lunch. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just pat these dry before I add some seasoning. Both sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and run through, make sure I got all the pin bones out too. And all we got all the pin bones out. I wanna try this new season by Kinder's. It's called uh, Garlic and Herb with Sea Salt and Lemon. I'm a big fan of this kind of uh, seasoning. We've been using like I'm a big fan of the seasoning and we use it all the time in the house when I smoke some uh, pork butt ribs or even cook a steak. It's great seasoning. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on there. Nice even coat on both sides. And get nice good coat of seasoning. Gotta pat that in there. And then we'll flip it over and get the other side. All right, hit the other side. Make sure you get a nice good coat. There we go. A little small sprinkle. Pat it down in there. Now, now our fish is ready to go. Stove. Just got a stove, turn the stove on, get it nice and hot. And we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure I coat that pan all the way through. Let that get hot, then we're gonna lay our fish down. This is ready. I'm gonna lay it down in the pot. Lay it away from you so you don't burn yourself. I don't wanna overcrowd the pot, but I am. 
Uh, this ain't gonna take long to cook. It's probably about maybe two minutes on each side and then be ready to go. I'm gonna get my good old fashioned spatula ready to flip these bad boys. It's already smelling really good. Can you smell it? Alright guys, our fish is done. Look at that nice gold brown color. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on the plate. Alright guys, we just tried this new Kinder seasoning, put it on some fresh mangrove snapper. Let's give it a try. Got some fresh broccoli, trying to be a little more healthier, trying to be more health conscious right now. So I'm gonna get a nice little piece of this fish. Oh, scraped. Look at that. Mango snapper is probably one of my favorite enchilada fish. Probably one of the best snapper you can eat, in my opinion. It's a lot better than red snapper. It smells good, it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. Let's give it a try. It is hot. Mm -hmm. This stuff right here is banging. It is so good. Guys, if you guys have not tried this yet, I even sprinkled some on my broccoli. But if you have not tried this seasoning yet, I am nowhere near sponsored by this. We just used it in the house. We tried it out with Sam's. And this is actually delicious. It is so good. Such a great flavor on this fish. I don't even talk with my mouth full of food because it's so good. Mmm. Put on some fresh broccoli too. Just sprinkle that some on there. They put no butter or nothing, just steamed it. Mmm. Baby, you gotta try this. I know. My wife is behind the camera. <laughs> and it's so good. But that being said, that's the end of the video. I guys hope you guys like this catch and cooks. I'm gonna start doing them more often. I feel like get more in depth with the viewers and interact with people. So thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.